So Nella, could you explain about your research in breath? Yeah, so I'm trying to understand how lung regeneration works and what we can do to improve it. In the Klebers lab, our tool of choice are so-called organoids. So organoids are simplified organ structures that we can grow in a dish. And the way that works is that we take stem cells directly from the lungs and then we give them the right growth conditions so that they can thrive. And that means we provide a scaffold for them so they can expand in three dimensions and we give them the right nutrients and the right growth factors. And then the stem cells will self-assemble into structures that resemble the tissue that they came from. And observing how these processes work and also manipulating them gives us the knowledge to understand how regeneration works in the human and also what we can do to improve it. Wow, that sounds really fascinating, Ella. <laughs> so could you explain how an average day looks like for you? Yeah, sure. So I think in research there is really no, no day is the same. We have to keep our organoids happy, so we um, give them nutrients and we have to give them more space whenever they get too crowded. But then, of course, we run experiments as well. So, for instance, we would add a drug to the organoids and then observe what happens. And that can take days or weeks and we collect the data and then we need to analyze the data and visualize it because one important part of the work is to present the data to other people, so within the lab, but also on conferences, in meetings and also in the monthly breath meetings. And this is extremely valuable because then I get a lot of feedback and fresh ideas. So Nella, could you say something about the results that you have achieved already? I'm trying to understand lung regeneration and in the Clavers lab we had previously been able to grow organoids from the airways but not from the alveolar space. Now we have a tool to start observing how the regeneration works and also try to manipulate it and understand better how we can improve it. Mm -hmm. But there's still a lot of optimization to be done, so I don't think I'm gonna be out of work anytime soon. And so when you're referring to the alveolar organoids, you're referring to the mini lung, is it? Exactly, both the airways and the alveolar structures are part of the lung. So it's basically a representation of different structures of the lung and I, I would call both of them mini lung. Ideally, we would at some point also bring them together to have uh, yeah, a more accurate representation of a lung. <laughs>